two of you. Mr. King coming to you live from the studio. Here are the questions for the day. Please pause the video now and answer them. Next, remember to figure out the charge of something. You should count the protons and electrons. So if there's more protons, it's positive. And if there's like two more, pro if there's two more protons, it's plus two. If there's one more proton, then it's plus one. And then if there's more electrons, it's negative. So if there's two more electrons, and then it's minus two. And if there's only one more electron, it's minus one. But if they're equal, like this atom, like this nitrogen, then it's zero. It's neutral, no charge. Next, today you should be able to compare and contrast different types of atoms. Yep, so go to Google Classroom, go to Tuesday, and modeling valence electrons. So here's some review. Remember, this is what an atom looks like. It has protons and neutrons in the nucleus on the inside. And then the first two electrons go in the first orbital because it can't fit much more in that first orbital. So it can only fit two. All the other orbitals or the other rings can go and fit up to eight electrons. Next, you should know how to model lithium by now. We've done it before. So the first question is make a lithium atom. Yep, use instructions here. Make lithium. Next, sodium. This one will need more help. Okay, so start with Googling the atomic number for sodium. Sodium is element number 11, which means it has 11 protons. This is drag the correct number of protons inside the nucleus, but no need to spread them out since there's not much space. You can try and spread them out if you want, but you don't have to. I'm gonna do my best to spread them out, kind of like a clock. All 11 protons, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm gonna add room, 10, 11. Okay, next is the neutrons. Find the mass number for sodium and round to the nearest whole number. So mass, 22.989769. Okay, you would round that up to 23. Subtract the mass, 23, minus the protons. And the protons, so it's 23 minus 11. 23 minus 11 is 12. So you'll need 12 neutrons now and just fit them wherever you can. It's okay if they're touching, you really can't avoid that. Boom, boom, it's five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. So my nucleus obviously is really stuffed, and that's okay. I'm looking for eleven protons and twelve neutrons in the nucleus. Then the electrons will be a little tricky. Sodium does not have a charge in it, so the amount of electrons equals the amount of protons. So there were 11 protons, so we'll need 11 electrons. And the inner ring can only hold two electrons. The rest can hold up to eight. Okay, so we always start putting the first two in the inside ring on top and bottom. Okay, next. We wanna fill this orbital. You can do two ways. The first way is just spread them out like a clock, all eight electrons, or 
you can do it this way, which is a little bit easier for me, is you can do it in twos. So put the first two at the top right here. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five electrons, six electrons, seven electrons, eight electrons, nine electrons, 10 electrons, and then my 11. That ring is all full, so I'll put the last one on the last orbital. So now I have all 11. You can double check two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. So that is your sodium. Notice sodium only has one electron in the outside ring. Next, pause the video now and answer question three. And question four. Okay. Next thing, this is very important. You have to remember, memorize what this word means. Electrons, like this one, that are on the outside orbital, the outside orbital, only the ones that are on the outside orbital are called valence electrons. The valence part means that they're on the outside orbital, the last orbital. All the other electrons are not a valence, just the ones on the outside. So this is lithium. Lithium only has one valence electron. Here is a model of carbon. Carbon has six electrons, but it only has four valence electrons because it has four electrons on the outside ring. The reason why valence electrons are super important is because it determines which atoms can bond with each other. So like, for example, carbon has four valence electrons, so it can easily bond with four other atoms because those electrons can be bonded in covalent bonds with other things. That'll be for a different time, though. Okay? So that is carbon. Carbon has four valence electrons. Next, please answer question number five. You really need to practice here. You should notice... Pause the video now, try and do it yourself. There's only one valence electron on lithium, and there's also only one valence electron on sodium. Next, please count how many valence electrons does fluorine have? Remember the electrons are the ones that are on the outside orbital. And then do the same thing with magnesium and sulfur. And once you do that, please check your grade and take the survey. After that, you're all good to go. Bye, everyone. Have a great Tuesday. See ya.